Hey guys, Double Wide Six here, and today I'm going to give you a little video on how you can build a small air compressor, um, like the type of compressor that you might find inside a refrigerator or inside a dehumidifier or some sort of appliance like that. Uh, what I hope to do is take a small compressor like that and build a usable air compressor. And mainly this video is going to focus on the wiring rather than so much the setup of the compressor. So here's a quick look at the uh, compressor. Um, basically what you have is three wires coming out of it. There's a yellow, there's a blue, there's a black. And uh, your guess is as good as mine as what the colors mean. You don't want to just, uh, you know, guess and wire it up. You can blow this thing up, um, short it out, or something like that. So you need to know what's going on. So if we follow this up to the cap, on the cap, it indicates what we have. We have our run wire, our start wire, and our common wire. And we can actually pull this nut off and remove the cap and we can determine which wire goes to which lug. Um, a common problem that you can have is you can get a compressor like this and it's missing the cap and you don't know what's what. So as part of this video I figured I would show you how we can determine which wire is which real easily. So if we look at the cap on top of our compressor Basically up here is what we have, and we have a pin here, a pin here, and a pin here. And according to the compressor, this one here is our start, this one here is our common, and this one over here is run. Now. What I'm going to show you is how you can determine which wire is which. So basically there's three lugs up here, your run, your start, and your common. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at it like this. We have a start, a run, and a common. Our lowest resistance should be between our run and our common. So that's going to be lowest resistance. Okay. Then our next highest resistance or next lowest resistance is going to be between our start and our common. So next lowest resistance. Okay, now I'm going to list our wires. So we have yellow, blue, and black. Now I have my own meter set up, so we're going to go from yellow, and we're going to go yellow to blue first. And we're going to write down that resistance. It's 0.12. So that's yellow to blue. And that was 0.12. Now we're going to go yellow to black. 0 0.009. So black to yellow. 0.009 and now we're going to go from blue to black point zero zero three so blue to black Very good. So looking at my numbers, I realized I made a little mistake. This was 0 0.012. Just by looking at your numbers, 
If you add these two together, 0 0.003 and 0 0.009, it equals 0 0.012. That's a sign that your uh, compressor is in good shape and the, the wiring inside of it is in check. If those numbers are way off, they don't add up, then uh, there could be a short or something like that. All right, so here's how you determine this. Now you have all your measurements taken as far as resistance. Um, we said that between run and common, that's gonna be our lowest resistance. So uh, we have blue and black, 0 0.003. That's our lowest resistance. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put those colors up top. So we know that our lowest resistance goes between the run and the common. And the wire color was blue and black. So blue, black, they go up there because they go in between those two. All right, and then we look at our next lowest resistance. Our next lowest resistance goes between start and common. So that's up in here. And that's going to be, according to this thing, 0.009 black and yellow so up here we know that these are going to be black yellow now you got to look at what we have up top I'll move the camera up here's our wiring combination so we know that either blue or black goes on these two pegs and we know that either black or yellow goes on these two pegs well we're going to need black to go here because according to this that'll give us black for this side and that'll give us black for this side so this one has to be black we've determined that so that makes start yellow and that makes run blue okay so runs blue commons black and start is going to be yellow on this particular compressor so now we're going to talk a little bit about wiring it up. We're going to need a capacitor. This capacitor came uh, along with this compressor. So I know it's, it's used, it's basically a start capacitor for this compressor. And uh, just so you know, incidentally, there's no polarity on this capacitor anywhere. It doesn't say plus or minus, so it really doesn't matter how you wire it. And also, these terminals are connected together so it doesn't matter if you're on the left one or the right one um, they're both connected together physically by metal alright so as far as wiring this thing up the first thing that you have is your plug from the wall okay now I don't know we live in America so it's 120 VAC, so that's volts AC, and we're at 60 hertz, okay? And coming off that plug, basically what you have is you have your line, you have your common wire, and you have your ground wire. So those are your three wires coming off your plug. So as far as uh, wiring goes, your ground wire, this thing is basically going to come up and it's going to tie on to the outside of your compressor. So I'm probably going to put it right onto one of the lugs on the compressor where it's mounted to the base. So that takes care of the ground. You want to make sure that you ground the thing. The next thing that you want to take a look at will be our, our line coming out of the plug. All right, basically our line out of the plug is going to have to run to the capacitor but what I want to do is put a switch in it so we're gonna run our line we'll just put a simple switch here and it'll go to one of the lugs on the capacitor okay this is our capacitor which looks like this all right so we're gonna tie it in like I said there's no polarity so we can go to either lug there and then it's gonna run off the capacitor and it's going to come up to our run terminal okay 
So once again, our line comes, goes to a switch, ties into one side of the capacitor, out of the capacitor, and up to our run lug. And that leaves us with our common or our neutral, which would be our white wire from our plug. And our white wire from the plug is going to simply run directly from the plug right up to the common. And it's going to tie into that lug. And the last thing that we actually have to do is we have to take our start and we're going to run a wire that goes from the start to the other side of the capacitor. So the, in order for the compressor to start running, it needs an extra boost of uh, energy from the capacitor. And you need to make sure that you get this stuff wired right because if you don't, you can burn up the compressor. And, uh, you know, it, you, you just have to be careful that you get it all set up right. So take your time to lay this stuff out. So now that we're grounded, the next thing we want to do is we want to take our white wire from the wall. So this is our, our neutral wire or common wire from the wall. And we're going to tie this to the black because we have already determined that our black wire is the common wire on the uh, compressor. So I'm just temporarily hooking this thing together because we're going to bench test it. Now this is the uh, black line wire coming out of the socket. So this is our hot wire. And it I'm not going to run um, up here on a wiring diagram. I have a switch, but to bench test it, we're going to skip the switch and we're going to hook it up to one of the lugs on our capacitor. So we now have that tied in there. And the other end of that is going to go to the um, run on the compressor. So following the wiring diagram, come out of the capacitor and go up to the run. So our run wire is our blue wire. So we're going to tie that. Our blue wire is going to go onto the capacitor like that. And the last run we need to make is for our start wire. And our start wire basically goes from the start on our uh, compressor. It goes from the start on the compressor out to the other lug on the capacitor. So it could basically go to either of these two, sorry about that, either of these two terminals. So we'll tie that on right there. So we are all wired up and we're going to plug this thing in and see if it works. All right. So I'm going to plug this guy in and hopefully it works. And you can see we're up and running. And basically what you have is this pipe is blowing out compressed air. And this pipe back here is sucking in compressed air. And these things actually have some pretty good power. I'm actually hoping to use this. I want to make a very small, quiet air compressor that I can use right by my carburetor cleaner and I use an ultrasonic cleaner a lot of times with my two cycle carburetors and I'm thinking I can build a very small air compressor like this and uh, just keep it down in my basement so that I can blow out some of the passages on these carburetors and also to clean them out just to get like uh, some of the degreaser and water out of them when I'm done cleaning them. Um, a compressor like this is not meant to run all the time because there's, there's no longer any oil in this thing. So if you're going to run it, you need to add a little bit of oil to it from time to time. And uh, I don't believe I really need a tank for this compressor. I could probably just hook up a, an air hose and, uh, you know, let it build a little bit of pressure to blow out carburetors. 
But uh, I don't know, I might put together a little tank to see how that works. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe I'll build a little tank out of like four inch PVC, get some four inch PVC and put some end caps on it and just make a small portable tank and kind of like a little plywood stand to hold this whole thing together. All right, so I have a small meter here. I just want to show you what type of pressure we can get. Keep in mind, there's no tank hooked up to this thing. And I'm hoping you guys can see my meter. So this is a 60 or 70 PSI. I'm not going to let it go higher than that. But it feels like it'll go a lot higher than that. Um, basically what I have here is it's just temporarily wired here to the capacitor. Then it's going up to the compressor. There's an intake on the compressor here. And then here's where your air comes out. And the air coming out is going into this tank. And this might look familiar. It's one of those uh, sprayers, like a pesticide type sprayer thing. And we just plugged it in. And if we take a look at the needle, we are currently at a little bit above 20 PSI and counting. I don't know how much this tank will hold. Um, I just kind of have it rigged up to see what the compressor will do. Pretty good air pressure in there. So I picked up some of the information on how to wire this thing up um, on websites and also on YouTube. There, there's a few videos on YouTube, um, mainly uh, a guy by the name of Aussie 50. He's an Australian guy. He, he really had some good information on like some of the wiring that I'm showing you. Um, and I found out some of the other stuff about how to determine, you know, which terminal is which and, and some of that stuff as far as the compressor goes um, on some websites and that. And uh, I kind of thought I'd just sort of put it all together in one video on YouTube. And I'm, I'm hoping this helps out some of you guys for your uh, little weekend projects if you, ha if you do anything like this. So I'm double wide six. I got a bunch of repair and fix it videos on YouTube underneath my channel. I'm always working on little projects out in the garage and uh, this is one that I thought you guys might like. And uh, as always, I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'm picking up about 18, 20 fans a day or subscribers a day. So it seems like people are watching. And, uh, you know, if you want to give me a thumbs up and, and rate the videos, that really helps them be shown. So hopefully uh, you learned something from this. And uh, this will help you guys out with your projects. Have a great day. I'll see you.